Hello everyone and welcome to the very first multiplayer Crusader King game on my channel. I'm playing with my friend Scudos. Hello. Hello everybody. <laughs> what a great intro we had. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, today we have prepared a um, kind of a fun game for you guys. Hopefully it's going to be an interesting campaign as well. Uh, Skurus can explain where we start, but first I would like to say that I don't know why Paradox have chosen to have so little relations in the world on 769, which is the uh, Sharman start. There were pretty much no brothers, no sisters, no families, just single people. Yeah, there was nothing in Byzantium. There's no family in any counts or dukes in Byzantium. The only person with relatives is the what's called Basilius. Yes, yes. We wanted to find at least two brothers or a, a bigger family, preferably that we could play, so we would be related in the game and have some kind of um, connection. And uh, yeah, Bohemia was the choice because every single... I think what, there's, there's four single county counts and then a duke with two counties and everybody is related. It's all the same family. So yes. uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting, I think. Yep. So in the end, we chose the following counties. I'm playing the Count of Litomnezice, which is the northern part of today's Czech Republic. And, uh, I'm playing as the County of Meissen, which isn't de jure in between, <laughs> but uh, skip over that. But yeah. Well, Meissen, Meissen is uh, today's Germany. It's uh, the border region with. Well, it lies in the border, re border region, sorry for that, border region between Germany and Bohemia, which is Czech Republic, as I mentioned. So, yeah. uh, I think we should mention that we're playing on very hard, um, and pretty much that's all there is. Yeah, we, we're using no mods currently, because the CK2 Plus is not ready yet, and we're playing with the latest expansion, as I mentioned. So, do we have anything to add? Uh, no, I don't think so. You're going to see a lot of new features with, uh, you know, all the tribal features, because we're both playing as, you know, chiefs of tribes. So, uh, <laughs> it should be different. Yeah, we are very advanced tribal people. <laughs> you know, we have a village and we have a fire. You know, that that's the latest news in Bohemia <laughs> in this century. So, yeah, I think that's all for now, and we'll see you in the game, right? Yep. Okay, see you guys in the game. So we are here in the game as two of the western, most western tribes there are. Actually, I'm not, but <laughs> Skutos is. Yeah, I'm right on the border with with West Francia, which is only a, a small kingdom to worry about, so... Yeah, you won't fine. have any trouble there, trust me. So let's look at our characters. Uh, so my character is a grey eminence. <laughs> oh, what about yours? Oh, mine's, uh, mine's pretty terrible. I've got a skilled tactician, which is good, but that diplomacy is not filling me with confidence. Oh yeah, you got 10 diplomacy. On the other hand, you got 25 martial or 24? 25, 25. man. It's so pretty... gonna increase a lot. Of uh, It's going to increase your army by a lot, I think. But are you lucky with the concubines? Let's have a look. I got kind of a nice... Uh, so one of the f new things in um, the Charman... Aren't, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne, okay. Charlemagne. 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 Whatever. It's, it's not an English word even. So Charlemagne. Expansion is the tribes as we mentioned already. And the mechanics for marriage are a bit different. I basically don't ever take wives until I Christianize. I just take concubines. Unless I need some sort of... Uh, well, if my duke will be, for example, uh, angry with me, but he will have a daughter, I'll try to persuade her to marry me, but otherwise I really don't do that. By the way, you stand in line to inherit do a I? lot. Yeah. Your father is the chief of... Oh god, here we go. Domas... Domas Lys? Uh, wait, no. The 
preferred air for chief Nezamysl is Minata, who is from Domažvice, which is the southern border of uh, yeah. our nation. Yeah, she's your father. Oh, he's my father? Yeah. Wait, so... Uh, Oh yeah, he's he's the father. But one thing that happens here is that you can change your preferred heir, don't you? Or I don't know how can. it works. Yeah, I, I, I was never a duke either, so I just know that sometimes I saw like the preferred heir was changed. So yeah, uh, maybe there's a new. Hold on, let me check the laws. We are yeah, we are elective gavel kind, so. The titles of the rules are dividing among his children and the primary heir, who is elected from among the members of the ruling dynasty. So I guess that's what's happening here. Who knows? New kingdoms might be created to younger sons, if possible. Oh yeah, we can. You can if you now own uh, three duchies, I believe you can yeah. create a kingdom. Whole new kingdom, that which is really. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, and I can change. You can, if you go into the laws, there's elective gable kind, and you can nominate someone to be your heir. So that's probably how it works. There we go. I nominated you. You're my heir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I better not do that. Actually, I think, I think the game ends if that happens. Yeah. Another another interesting thing is that oh, I'm no longer the preferred heir. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing is that, as we are both pagan, we don't really have... Yeah, we have a build zeal. Our court chaplain is a pagan, so I have a build zeal yeah. uh, action. Have your court chaplain whip up religious zeal among the people, increasing your piety and possibly even attracting some holy warriors. Yeah, it's really cool, that new feature. I think this. As a, a pagan, you get three different, like, organized raid with the marshal can give you a, a chance to get some, like, free free warriors, basically. Oh, yeah, the organized raid, but that happens to me twice or three times in a row, and I had no way to put them. <laughs> so yeah. they just left with my gold. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, I just delete them, if I've got nothing to do with them. But yeah. you can use them to raid. And our so. steward has a settled tribe. I assign your steward to settle members of your tribe in the county, increasing the chance that its culture will change to Bohemian. Wait, what? No, I do have Bohemian culture, so... No, I don't. You don't? Okay, so you probably should do that. I have Pomeranian. So, so I'm probably gonna do that. That's pretty important, I think. I'm gonna send my spymaster to... Oh wait, I can study technology in Prague, so it doesn't matter. Let's build a spy network in... With the music said then. Oh, I can't. Hold on. Pot? Oh, that's pot power increase. I need the scheme. Yeah, I need to search for the pots. And proselytize and provisions. Relations. Train troops. I'm gonna improve my diplomatic relations with my duke. That's always a good thing to do. And oh, I can build legend. The steward can build legend. Have your steward build your legend among the people, increasing your prestige and possibly even raising some eager warriors. Oh well, <laughs> three of our guys can raise warriors. Yeah, it's it's good. And the prestige, the builder is called build. Yeah, build legend is even better because uh, as a tribe, you can build your new buildings with prestige instead of money. Yeah, and it's really, really helpful. <laughs> Uh, so another, yeah, another thing to add is we make almost no money as a tribe at yeah, all. Yeah, that's true. I make some 0. 0.33 gold. Because we ah. have, as, as uh, tribes, we can have no baronies, no vassals. No. Although I've got to say, when we flip from tribes, I've got a really good province for building. Oh yeah, you can get four baronies, that's true. Four supplements. I can only have three. But yeah, I'm looking at what you mentioned earlier, that only two buildings, that's the Earth, Hillfort and Market Village, can be built by gold. The rest is being built by prestige. prestige. Yeah. Um, all of those are military buildings, by the way. Yeah. The prestige ones. 
Okay, I'm looking at... I should choose an ambition. I got a son, Unisloth. You got a son? Yeah, he's okay. five and he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> His skills are 1-1-2-1-2. One, one, two, one, two. Awesome. I'm gonna go with... How about that? You know, I wanna get married, that's my wish. Mm, good luck finding a suitable oh, wife. I got an ambition to become King of Bohemia. That's um, awesome. Are you ambitious though? I'm gonna go with improved stewardship because my stewardship is 5 and that kinda sucks. So maybe we yeah, have... Mine's 3. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> the technologies are great though. 0000000000. <laughs> zero, 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 and so on. So well, what would we what would we want, man? It's like Light 769. Infantry. Light infantry, the most important thing, I'd say, for Marshall first, because uh, if you look at our levy, it's pretty much all light infantry. It's 317, 74 archers. So really? having them fight better, yeah. Tribes get lots of light infantry. Mm, Rotten news. Heavy infantry. Ah, fleet lobbies. Sars, especially. I was kind of surprised that we can raise mercenaries though. There's a lot of bands that are interested in joining us. Yeah, I got 240 white infantry, 48 archers, and 12 heavy infantry. Wow. That's not really awesome. <laughs> how, mu how much max levy have you got? Max levy? Uh, yeah. Total is 300, and when I try to raise them. 262 troops. Oh, 462. Well, you're much better off then. Yep. Like that. Your, your garrison I... is larger too. Hmm, I think this province is pretty good. I'm honest. I'm, I'm liking this. Right, maybe we should start the game. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. We've been we've been talking. Yeah. Last last thing we should notice is we made a couple of decisions about this let's play on how we're going to play, which is basically we are going to roleplay a lot. Yeah. Which means we're pretty much going to follow uh, our character's traits. So for example, my character is brave, he's just, and deceitful at the same time. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's terrible. <laughs> I'm paranoid, shy, content, diligent, really good, but... Uh, Shy, uh, content, paranoid. <laughs> How can I be just and deceitful at the very same time? I, I don't have... think that's correct. <laughs> no. Oh, anyway, we are going to try to follow follow the relations. For example, I love my liege. Uh, actually, I don't, but I have 36 with him. So I'm going to follow his command. And as I'm brave and just, I will probably, if we get into another war, or any war, not another, we didn't have any yet, but if we get into any war, I'm gonna raise my levies and march with my liege to have some fun. I think and in that case, um, I'm gonna follow him everywhere because I have a hundred opinion of him, so <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll blindly follow him everywhere. Okay, well then, then it's perfect, then it's perfect. Uh, am I educating my son? That's the last thing I would like to see. Uh, I can't find it anywhere. I can imprison my son, but uh, I can't educate him. Oh, we probably can't as tribes. Might be, might be that we can't ward them anywhere. Oh. It's my wife right there. Just right, I'll start the game. Sure, sure. I took a concubine, and there's no one in the market anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Let's keep the speed at uh, at 2 for now, we'll two. see how it goes. So let's look at the world, man, to kill some time. Oh. Whoa. Some stuff. Hold on, so I have decided to institute the law, law... Oh, the law of low tribal organization law. I approve. Did you? Yep, I love Don't... it, so I'm gonna do everything he says. Oh, that's true. Let's approve it as well. It's a so, good thing, really. It doesn't really restrict us that much. Were we on a nun? Yeah. Yeah, we're on zero. Huh. 
Oh, I think that's a good way how to start the game. By <laughs> getting another leash on us. Uh, okay, that's interesting. And there's a war going on south from our border. Look at that. The king of Bavaria is at war with... Middle Francia. Probably. That does not seem like a good war for him. Destroy it out. Look okay, again, an event. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Give him patronage, which will give me proud. Or ignore him, which will make everybody mad. So I'm gonna give him patronage. <laughs> And let's see, are there any more concubines? Yes, there's Dobravka. She's rough. And it's going to be hard. <laughs> How many concubines can we have? Three, right? Three. Three Three's up. the max. Yeah, yeah. And they give you prestige, which is pretty awesome. Do they? Yeah, they give, each one of them gives you 0.2 prestige uh, per month. There are no concubines left. <laughs> yeah, no, no, oh. here and well. I have nine people on my court, so. But they will multiply, you know, children and everything. Mm. That's one. You're now my concubine. You're content like me, so that good. Man, there's another war going on north from our border. So not only south, but Silesia is at war with. Uh, what's this? It's great, subjugation. Greater Poland. That's a little scary. So if Greater Poland wins that, they're gonna gain all of Silesia. Mm. Last time when I played uh, this this game, Bohemia immediately attacked. What's this? Luzi? I don't know. I can't figure out these names. It's Sorbia. Yeah. Sorbia. They attacked and subjugated Sorbia. So that might happen here as well. In the games I've played, Poland ends up really big in every game I've played. Well, that's pretty much how it was in the history. And I managed to improve my Lige's opinion of me. So his opinion oh. is now 100. So he loves me, and I have 66 of him. Not even set my council up properly yet. Um, I should probably do that. I hope we're going to get some feasts or something. He should really... Really wrap it up for us. <laughs> What's he like though? I never checked him. He's indulgent. What's that word? I never saw a Vastro? Vastro. Vastro. The indulgent Vastro was groomed to become good with money. And if good means spending it quickly, the <laughs> indulgent Vastro certainly is. Diplomacy minus one, stewardship plus one. That's terrible. Holy crap. But he has good statistics. He's patient, he's gregarious, he's brave and envious. Oh, I hope that he doesn't envy me my county. <laughs> because I, at this point, well, that would be nice. Who's in line to inherit the uh, dukedom title? And Chief Minata of the Mashwitz is still my father. He's gonna oh. become the duke. Unless I get one more vote, then I'm the Duke. Really? Yeah. That's me, second. Chief Strojmir. Strojmir. Oh, I can't... Where can you see that? Um... Um, click on Law. Yeah, click on Laws. Then yes. Under your character portrait, there should be um, your county, and then next to it there should be uh, you know, the Black Eagle. Is it Black Eagle? The Blackbird? Click on oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Yes, 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 yes. Now I see it. I see yeah. it. I think you have a vote as well. Your Chief Stroymir of my son. So I could nominate you to become the Duke. You could, or you could nominate your father to become the Duke. Yes, that, which is exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I've, I'm, you know... I see older people as better rulers, so <laughs> my father it is.